Shalom, Kala Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rukal Kodash, the Lord is my teachers, the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, peace and mercy to the elect, who the house of David will be born again in this generation, and Shalom to the 130 Yasharalev, who today are known as the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, who before losing their true heritage were known as, and still are, the true Hebrew Israelites of the Holy Bible. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about the elites at the top of our society and how they are making moves to usher in the new world order. But let's read this first. This is Micah 2 and 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. Tells you, he says, George Soros gives one million to group trying to defund the police amid surge in crime. All right now, if you understand who George Soros is, then you you know you understand that this devil is up to no good, right? You understand that he is part of a world cabal, right? That is referred to, you know in this world as the one percent but biblically they are referred to as the wicked right and that wicked would be known biblically again as the nation of edom right because they are literally the edomites right you see george soros right here right he is a one of the puppets for the top you know one percent right who are the the kings of edom that rule the world in secrecy and he tells you here in Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Right? And who are those wicked? It's like, I, it's like I just said, it is the Edomites, right? The Bible prophesied that in the end times that the, the world would be ruled by the, the last nation to have rulership before the Messiah comes and then takes over the world and will rule forever on earth, making earth heaven. Right now, the nation that will be ruling before the Messiah returns would be a wicked nation, right? This is why they are termed the wicked, right? And the reason why they're the wicked is because they are the seed of Satan, right? They are, you know, their Satan is their spiritual father, right? And and that being said, this is why the world is in the shape that it is today, right? All wickedness has run amok, right? And this is also because the Lord has gathered all the tears, all the, the wickedness into, into a bundle, right? To, to get it ready to be burned, right? And these devils also knowing that their time is short, knowing that the Messiah is on his way back, right? They, they've seen the, the, the space, the spaceships coming back. This is why they're making moves, man. This is why they're doing all that jab stuff right now. This is why they're crushing the economy, why they're pushing forward the new world order agenda, which is why they're trying to disclose uh, UFOs and, and they're going to try to make them seem like they are uh, in fact a, a threat to humanity when in fact that, that is the Messiah coming back right, to take these devils out of power. Now, that being said, let's get to this article and just see what this devil is doing. Man. He says, this billionaire financier George Soros directed one million to the left-wing group that seeks to cut funding to police departments around the country according to the federal records right now if you understand who george soros is he is the uh the left wing devil uh that the that the elites have set up to basically fund all the democratic wing here in uh babylon the great america where harry kissinger uh, is the right-wing devil who is set up to basically fund and 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 you know do all the, the give all money and power and influence to the uh, right side, the Republican side, man, right? And these devils have basically purchased both sides using using puppets just like these. Now they have other puppets in place right now, right? But you know this right here is is uh, their old game, right? This is why George Soros is still at it, man, right? He's still giving out all this money because he has an agenda an agenda to bring forth that new world order and how are they going to do it well it is in in uh, it's written in the protocols of zion right which is these devil's playbook that they will basically defund police meaning 
that that they're going to take out current authority out of the society so that way the society rebels and it pretty much collapses and then that's gonna allow them the UN to come in and and you know and have a presidents to come in let me say and and basically take over right and let world uh, world governance right like the UN take over the US right removing uh, American sovereignty and all the rights that the American citizens really don't have but you know at least you know, there's, is a, there's a vestige of this truth. But let's continue. Joe sent funds to the Color of Change PAC on May 14th. The Washington Free Beacon reported on July 22nd, citing Federal Election Commission records. The contribution was the largest political contribution made by Soros during the 2021 election cycle. Color of Change, which describes itself as a radical justice group, has frequently called for the defunding of police departments across the United States, including leading an online campaign to slash funding following the deaths of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor. You see, so these devils, though it may sound good to defund the police, the truth is, is that the police is, is, a, is a system set up to keep society in order. Even though the society is a wicked society, it is, simply, it is basically a, a cog to the mechanism. Now, if they take out this cog, the mechanism is going to start to break down. And that's what they're hoping for, right? But these devils, you know, portray it and they bring it to the table as if it's a benefit, like they're trying to help you out. This is Psalm 64 and 5. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune in laying snares privily. They say, who shall see them? They search out iniquities they accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thoughts of every one of them and the heart is deep. But God shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded so that they shall make their own tongues to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. So you see these devils, man, though they are trying to push forward their agenda, though they are trying to set up these traps so that way the society will fall into them and basically fall apart the lord is basically shooting arrows at them man they're basically the lord is basically throwing a monkey wrench into their plans man destroying their their goals to establish this new world order and how is he doing that well he's he brings out people like these like this edomite right to to you know like it tells you here in the scripture to make their own tongues to fall upon themselves, man. To shall make their tongue to 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 fall upon themselves. Well, this guy here, man, Dennis Healy says, world events do not occur by accident. They are made to happen, whether it is to do with national issues or commerce, and most of them are staged and managed by those who hold the purse strings, right? And who holds the purse strings? This is one of the devils, man. Right? How much did he give? He gave one million dollars. Right? Tells you here. It says the killing of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor and so many more at the hands of police violence have left us all outraged. But our movement is stronger than ever. The petition that was circulated last year reads: Now it's up to us to hold them accountable. Push for further systematic changes and not lose the momentum needed to change the institution of political policing forever. You see, in this devil, man, he's been behind many national uprisings, right? Not only here in America, but all over the world, all to weaken nations so that way they can easily be brought into the new world order. I wish to, spon uh, I wish to thank the sponsors for inviting me. I don't often get invited. <clears throat> This, this was an important debate. I had planned another closing message, but I feel compelled to say what I'm about to say. Now, I risk sounding like a conspiracy theorist, but it's no longer a theory. What I'm about to say is fact. The secret organizations of the world power elite are no longer secret. They have planned and are now leading us into a one world communist government. The combining of national governments started with the European Union. 
That union started with trade agreements, then a common currency, the euro, and now a European Parliament that is feverishly passing laws that uh, override the laws of, new, of the member nations. A constitution was drafted but rejected by a few uh, of those nations, but never mind. They implemented it anyway. Now it's North America's turn. Building on the North American Free Trade Agreement, the NAFTA section of the Commerce Department is busy drafting laws and regulations for a North American Union, a union of Canada, America, and Mexico. The President has attended secret meetings and signed at least two agreements under the Security and Prosperity Partnership Program. Information leaked out about the meetings and now it is all in the open. No treaty has been signed, so Congress has not become involved. However, money from our Treasury is now being spent for this effort. We will have a new currency, the Amero, and a new constitution modeled on the Soviet Union's constitution. Our rights will not be inalienable, but they will be granted by government who can also take them away. One sign that this is our future is the plans for the superhighways from southern Mexico through America and into Canada. These plans are not secret any longer. Huge amounts of property will be taken in the name of free trade, peace, and security. You will have a national ID card with a radio frequency chip in it. That's already law in America and will be implemented by May 2000. This man voted for it. You will not be able to move about freely. This is terrorism of the most worst kind, brought on you by our own government. The strongest, freest nation in the history of mankind will be averaged into world communism. Is that what you want? Are we the people still in control of this nation? We must begin to act like we are. Stand down. So you see, that's another example of their tongues being made to fall upon themselves. The Lord is revealing what these devils are doing, right? And that right there is from 2006, right? So over 15 years ago, right? And the things that that man is saying is, is pretty much playing out before our eyes. Right? This is Jeremiah 30 and 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it, right? And that time of Jacob's trouble is basically martial law, when all hell breaks loose here in Babylon the Great. You see, what's gonna eventually happen, either through the defunding of the police or simply just the over overloading of their ca capacity, right? Because you see more people will continue to riot and stand up to the government, fulfilling the prophecy in 2 Ezra 15, talking about how there is going to be sedition amongst the people, right? Going against the government, right? And and how much, how easier would it be to bring in the military when the police have been defunded or reduced in their pay, right? We're already seeing record numbers of police retiring or quitting their jobs, right? So this is going to be how these devils bring forth the martial law, bring forth the takeover of America to usher it in to this one world government, the new world order. This is Romans 13 and 11. And that, knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. You see, we are close, Akim. We are close to the end of the world, right? The end of the Edomites world, should I say, right? Because this is the end for them and this is the beginning for us Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, right? At least those one third of us that will wake up to this truth and understand who we are and, and come back and repent and get right with the Lord, right? This is your chance to wake up. This is the time that the Lord has given you to understand and, and what's going on and to receive that mercy that he is granting for a short period before he closes the doors of mercy, right? And he starts to bring forth the wrath upon the entire world, right? The Jacob's trouble, the, the killing off of, of the majority of the world, right? So, hope this video is edifying, Nakim. Until the next time, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rabbah Kadash, 
Don't want to my teachers, the apostles, and elders of the great millstone. Peace and mercy to the elect. Shalom. You felt it your entire life. That there's something wrong with the world. You don't know what it is, but it's there. Like a splinter in your mind. Driving you mad. Do you know what I'm talking about? The Matrix. That you are a slave, Neo. Like everyone else, you were born into bondage. Born into a prison that you cannot smell or taste or touch.